Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best widgets that you can have on the home screen of your iOS 18 device in 2025. In this video, I will show you guys 10 apps with some amazing widgets that are pretty cool will make your home screen look way different but also are very useful as well and we're starting things off with mojo widgets now this is an amazing app offering you a bunch of different widgets for the home screen now we have a couple of those right here we have a big one that actually shows a ton of information like you will see here your steps you will see your connectivity the clock the calendar your brightness and you will also have an extra dock on the home screen of your device from where you can open easily any of these apps as you can see it actually works and it does open the apps and then you will have a smaller one right there with apps that you can basically choose from this app when you go to customize the widget and have your favorite apps there and launch them anytime you want now if we go into the app right here you can see we have a for you page where you will have some suggestions about different widgets you can see how cool these widgets are and then you will have different things like photos launchers right here calendar tasks you will have the exports which are really cool and you will have all kinds of like different widgets to add to the home screen now what's really cool with this app is that they have a really interesting way to make the widgets transparent actually all you have to do is just go to edit one of the widgets and you will have this button here to make it transparent you don't need to add any like screenshot or anything into the app to actually make them transparent all you have to do is just enable this and you're good to go you will have these really cool looking transparent widgets on the home screen next up is an app called usage now this is a very popular app i have featured this before on my videos it's actually really cool and it offers a bunch of different widgets that are very useful and very informative for the home screen of your device so here we have a few of them we have one for the battery we have the ram memory right there and then we have one for the storage which shows you your free storage your used storage and all that stuff and it offers a bunch of other widgets so let's just head on to the widgets panel of this app and take a look at some of those so here we have the widgets you can actually create by yourself into the app and then you will have things like the battery right you have a bunch of them for the battery then you will have the memory again a few different like choices for the memory then you will have the storage you will have your data right here your data intervals and all that stuff you can see the data period limit right there so all of these and the device informations can actually be added to your home screen next up is all my batteries this is a super useful app it offers you the ability to see the battery percentages for your devices right on your home screen not this iphone in this case but this iphone and other devices that i have as well like my macbook and my apple watch i don't need to open my macbook to actually view the battery percentage i can view it directly from here from my home screen on the iphone and it's actually really cool but all you have to do is just make sure that you have this app actually installed in all of your devices and then you will be able to add them here tap the plus button and you can go ahead and add your devices and you will have them on the list here but you will also have them on the widgets on the home screen making it very easy for you to know the battery percentage for all your devices next up is chat gpt now this is actually very useful it allows us to quickly start a conversation with chat gdp you don't have to actually open the app and try to find anything you need you want to upload a picture you will have that button right there you want to snap a picture and upload it you will have that button right there you can start a voice conversation right there which is really awesome and when you want to quickly just type a message you can just tap right there and start typing to chat gpt next up is widget of course one of the best if not the best widget app that you can get on your device now these are a couple of widgets from this app this one right here the design basically based on the leaks that we're expecting to see on ios 19 pretty cool you have two rows of apps and that like widget in the middle right there that looks pretty awesome and then we have this one right here an icon launcher which lets you open these apps from the home screen and it has a really nice looking design 
Next up is Rain Viewer, a pretty cool widget for the home screen if you want to see the weather all the time on your home screen. It offers a bunch of different widgets with some very nice choices and very informative. Actually, you can see right here we have one that shows you the weather for the complete day. So you can see right there and then right here you can also switch between different days and you will have the radar right there at the top for the rain of any city that you actually choose within the app. It actually offers a ton of different widgets. So let's take a look at some of those. So here we have the weather right here. So you will have the weather plus the radar in the same widget if you want that. Then you will have the current weather, the hourly forecast, another one for the hourly forecast, the daily forecast right here. And you can see right there will have the arrows that are, of course, interactive. You can switch between different cities, which is really awesome. And then you will have here the weather forecast with these widgets. The radars right here is actually pretty awesome. And as you can see, it has a ton of widgets that are actually super useful. Next up is Dark Noise. Now, Dark Noise is an app that is very popular. It allows you to play these like kinds of different noises on your device, and it has some pretty useful widgets. Now, if you have this app and you use it, you need to use the widget. Now, this basically allows to play these noises directly from the home screen. So you will have this with your favorite noises where you can play them or if you want you to control the noises you can do that via this widget right here which is basically like a mini player for dark noise next up is structured now structured is an app that's actually super useful it allows to plan your day and it will show you what you have to do during the day as you just basically continue your day and you just complete those steps it will actually display them on the app and even give you notifications when you have to complete certain tasks and this is right here the widget you can actually see your day right here you can actually check right there anything that you have already completed you will see with that one right there you will have all your steps everything that you have to do during the day and then you will also have your inbox right here where you have any information any message that's important to you dumb phone is up next now this one is really interesting it allows us to have this widget on the home screen and have nothing else if you just want to have like a phone that is not distracting you can have this widget and right here what you will have is basically your apps you open right there any app you need and just like that you don't have anything else on your iphone you can just remove all the home screen pages and just have this widget it's very simple just text right there and you will have your favorite apps there now of course you can go into the app if you just want to actually edit it and change the apps that you have here or even show more apps and the last one for the video is quick this is also a pretty cool widget that offers a ton of different widgets for your home screen then we have a medium one right there basically showing like a dynamic island style it's pretty cool and then we have another one here with a clock but we also have a ton of apps that we can actually open and launch directly from the home screen now when you go into the app you will be able to actually edit these apps and choose what app you want to see there and you will also have of course a bunch of like different different widgets that you can add to your home screen so let's just go back here so you can just go ahead and just choose the widget so if we go to medium right here we can go ahead and tap add widget and we have a ton of different widgets that we can add there now you will also have large ones and you have ones for your lock screen as well which again are actually pretty cool so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and you like the widgets if you did smash that like button if you want to download any of these apps check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one